what am I to do? I will pray with my spirit, but I will pray with my mind also. I will sing praise with my spirit, but I will sing with my mind also. For one who speaks in a tongue speaks not to men but to God. For no one understands him, but he utters mysteries in the spirit. On the other hand, the one who prophesies speaks to people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. The one who speaks in a tongue builds up himself, but the one who prophesies builds up the church. In the next hour, we will take you with us to another world, into the world of music, spirit, and meditation. Turn off the light, take a deep, take a deep breath, relax. and relax. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, if any man or woman will hear my voice, obey the same, come into repentance, revolution, that I say they are found abiding in the newness of life that only I provide. But I say, if any man or woman will hear my voice, stiffen the neck, and refuse to obey me, then I say they are locked into death. For I say that men apart from me are found bound in trespasses and sins, and I say in the same they will die and perish in sin. But I say it is me, the living God, who does speak forth the command, to repent to any and all who will hear and obey. For I say it is indeed a privilege to hear from me, to obey me, and be guided forth by me. And I say it is me, the living God, who is giving the call even now unto the dead, that is, the ones who are locked in through trespasses and sins. And I say it is me, the living God, who is well able to liberate the captives, to call them to newness of life, to set them free. For I say, if any man or woman will hear me, obey me, and come forth in true repentance, then I say they are set free of the shackles of death. And I say they are brought into the newness of life that can only be found through me. Now I say, this day you are living in times when many have made an idol of death, they have worshipped death, they have emulated death, and they have loved the factor of death. But I say they are fools because they have been blinded by the God of this world. They have been blinded by the deceiver. And yes, they are taken in the same. And I say it is me, the living God, who is giving the call to those who are bound, who are found in the shackles of death, calling them to repent, to come unto me. That is, to come out of the grave, to come out of the tomb, to come into the life that only I can provide. Now I say this day, be thankful that you can indeed be messengers of life to those who are dead in trespasses and sins. And I say, be thankful that you can walk in the newness of life that repentance brings day after day. For I say, you are not meant to be stagnated, you are not meant to be stubborn or proud. But I say, you are meant to be coming forth, uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness, the way that is truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who will ever bring forth the ones who believe upon me and who trust in my way. For I say, when a people will be ever subject to me, then I say they are guided in life. And I say, when a people will be ever subject to me, then I say they are given the truth to walk in day by day. For I say that I, the living God, do give to my people all that they need to be kept in the life of who I am. But I say, if the ones who are claiming that they are mine will go and eat of the death, then I say they have the stench of death over them. And I say they are not found well-pleasing, they are not found abiding, they are not found coming forth in the newness of life that I provide. But I say they are found full of the filth, the stench of death, because they have eaten of the same. 
Now I say this day that I the living God do offer unto my people the way of life, the way of truth, the way of mercy intended. But I say if a man will call himself mine, then I say that he must eat of the provision that I give unto him. That is, he must not return as a dog does to the vomit and eat up the same, or a pig as it wallows in the mire. But I say that he must come forth in the newness of life, the purity of who I am. Now I say this day that I the living God do not call you to eat of the table of devils, for to do so is to curse yourself. That is, to bring darkness unto your soul, to bring the throes of death upon you once again. But I say that I the living God do call you to renounce, refuse, and rebuke the unfruitful works of darkness, to have no part of the same. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness and truth, mercy and strength and hope provided. Therefore I say, continue as a steadfast people, keeping your vision single unto me. That is, coming forth in that which I give you time and again, for I am indeed well able. And I say, if you walk in the newness of life, if you partake of what it is that is found in me, obeying my voice, then you are guided by me. For I say, it is by my voice that men will hear and obey and come into the repentant way. I say this day and times past that I, the living God, have called to the sons of men, and I say there have been those who have heard and obeyed me. But I say likewise, the corridors of hell are filled with the ones who did refuse. And I say so it is, even now there are multitudes who will hear and refuse me, that is, not obey my call to repentance and go on in the way of their own damnation. And I say they will likewise end in hell because they have refused to hear my voice and obey the same. Now I say this day when men will come in to me through obedience unto my call, then I say they will be thankful to be redeemed. For I say that their eyes will be opened to behold what it is that awaits them if they do not walk uprightly in me. And I say they will see that the prison house of death has held them in captivity, in slavery and bondage, but they do not need to pay heed to the same. That is, if they will indeed repent and come forth in the newness of life that I provide. I say this day be thankful to believe upon me, to trust me, and obey me, and be ever guided by me. And I say be thankful that it is me, the living God, who will give unto you the way wherein you are kept each day. For I say, if you will indeed be purposing yourselves to obedience unto me, then I say you are guided forth in the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. And yes, you are given the privilege of newness of life, for I, the living God, do give unto you the same. Now I say this day, be thankful for the privilege to believe, the privilege to receive, and be brought forth uplifted in me. And I say, be thankful each day that you can indeed be guided in that which I give you time and again. For I say, it is me, the living God, who gives to my own the way wherein they can be kept, directed, and guided each day. And it is me, the living God, who gives to my own the truth, the light, the blessedness that I provide. Now I say, this day there are many who are complainers ever undermining what it is that I do for them. I say, such ones are fools. For I say they are opening their mouths to become sepulchres of death, and I say the stench of the same is disgusting unto me. For I say that my people are not meant to be murmuring, complaining, and thinking they know a better way. But I say that my people are meant to be ever thankful to be guided in the straight, the narrow way of repentance, revolution in me. For I say when a man is truly repentant, then I say that he becomes a revolutionary against the way of carnality, against the way of sin and transgression, and I say that he will not return to the death and eat of the same. Now I say, when you consider how ugly it is when a corpse is decaying, when it is full of rottenness and the stench of the same, and a beast will go and eat of the same. But I say that my people become like beasts when they will eat of the death that I have brought them from. Therefore I say this day be thankful that you do not need to return again unto death to return to bondage and be found in the same. But you can come forth in the newness of life that I provide, for it is me the living God who will guide you forth in me. Now I say consider when I called Lazarus out of the tomb that he could have refused, that he could have disobeyed, that he could have remained in death. And I say the decay had already set in the stench of the same and that was what would have been his final goal. But I say, because he heard my voice, obeyed my voice, I say that he came out of the lockup of death into the freedom of life that I do provide. I say, this day be thankful even now that it is me you can look to, that it is me you can partake of day by day. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to carry upon you the stench of death by looking back to that which I brought you from. 
For I say, you are not meant to look with longing upon death, but you are meant to see it for what it is. And I say, you are meant to see likewise that those who continue to abide in death will be damned. I say this day, be thankful that you can indeed hear my voice, obey the same, and be brought forth by me, that you can indeed be given the strength, the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness, the way that is truth, the way that is mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who will uplift, direct, and guide any and all who will believe and cleave to me. Therefore, I say, even now, be thankful that it is me, the living God, you can look to, that it is me, the living God, that you can obey and follow after. And I say, be thankful that through me you are given the light always. I say, be thankful that through me you will be uplifted, directed, and brought forth in newness of life. For I say, it is me, the living God, alone, who is able to give life to my own. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am able to speak to the dead, and I say that I'm able to bring them forth. Therefore, I say, when you look upon the decay, the death, and smell the very stench of the same, of those who are dead in trespasses and sins, of those who are dead in religion, of those who are hopelessly slaves of, to their addictions, I say, know that it is me, the living God, who can speak forth to them in their death. And I say that it is me, the living God, who can cause the ones who will serve me to come forth in newness of life. For I say, as it was when I called Lazarus, I say that I called him to come forth. And I say, so it is when I give the call to repentance, I am calling men and women to come forth. That is, to come forth in the way of my truth, the way of my light, the way of my mercy. That is, I am calling them to come out of the death into the life. For I say that each time a sinner is born again of incorruptible seed, I say they are bought, brought out of the transgression, they are brought out of the sin into the way of life. That is, they are freed from the shackles of death and damnation to walk forward in the way of salvation that I provide. Therefore, I say, be thankful that you can indeed hear my voice and obey, that you can indeed walk uprightly each day in repentance, calling others to the same, that you can indeed be giving the message of life to those who are dead, that you can indeed abide in the life and likewise see sinners brought into the life of who I am. For I say that the job is not finished nor the commission over because you see the utter decay. But I say it is the time to call and to call and to call for those who will obey. For I say there are those who are miserably locked in, held in captivity in the prison house of shame. Yet I say they will hear me, obey me, and come forth in my way. And I say that they will be uplifted, brought forth, guided, and directed by me. I say this day do not limit me by what it is that you see, but remember it is me, the living God, who is able. And it is me, the living God, who can bring to life the dead bones, the dry bones that are laying in the sun. It is me, the living God, who can speak life to any man or woman who is held in the throes of death and bring them to newness of life as they obey me. Therefore, I say you are not meant to be discouraged, but encouraged knowing that I am who I am. That is, it is me, the living God, who is able to call forth the living out of the dead by their obedience unto me. That is, when I call any man, woman, or child to repent, and they will hear and obey, then I say they are given the newness of life that is found in me. And I say that they will be uplifted and cleansed from the stench of death and given the fragrance that comes of my life. And I say that they can be found well pleasing unto me as they walk in the humility way that I give to my own. I say this day, be thankful, be thankful, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who has brought you out of the death into the life. I say, do not forget that it was by my mercy, that it is by my mercy that you are redeemed. That is, that you are given the privilege to come forth, the privilege to be uplifted and ever guided by me. That you are given the strength to continue, for I say that I am the I am. Now I say, in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, let it be me that you will look to, let it be me that you will follow after and obey. And let it be me who will prove to be the lasting life unto thee, for I am indeed well able. That is, I'm able to direct, correct, and bring forth the ones who believe upon me. And I say that I'm able to give to my people the strength, the truth, and the mercy day by day. Therefore I say, be steady, be true, be continuing in that which I give you, which is the way of life and truth and hope provided. And I say, be made glad to continue to believe, to receive, and be brought forth each day in me. That is, the one true God who gives to you the call, the call, the call of life.
the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good, that you may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen.